Hello, Fleece. Well, hello. After so much sinful indulgence, I'm sure you must be fanny. <laughs> well, I am feeling pretty hungry now that you mention it. So I guess that being the season of gluttony, you're meant to look around at all of this food and feel somewhat hungry, but on <laughs> honestly, looking at stuff like a pie with a bunch of fish heads sticking out of it, I... Yeah, lady, are you responsible for this? Because if you are, you really need to go back to chef. Don't don't smoke that cigarette back like you don't know what I'm talking about. You need to go back to chef school. So now that I've got that out of my system, let's head on into the local Chinese restaurant. I think it's... Hold on, that means gold. That's heaven. Gold, heaven, uh, I think that's um, white. So gold, heaven, white, um, man. <laughs> Gold heaven white man. That was actually my nickname back at assassin school. Anyway, apparently this is what we're looking for. The piggy's wish list. This guy right here who's too fat to go and get it himself has asked me to go and get it for him. This contains the ingredients that piggy needs. Oh, okay. Now, start with grapes and fish. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Wow, this... This seems awesome. Now, in order to complete this month's DLC, there are certain conditions that need to be met in order to get the piggy's ingredients. Like, if you want to get fish, you need to kill the piggy dudes with the white masks with a fishing line. If you want to get grapes, you need to kill the blue mask guys with a grape knife. If you want to get uh, meat, you need to kill the brown mask guys with a meat cleaver. And if you want to get bananas, you need to kill the yellow um, mask guys with a machete. So as you can see, they've put tons of thought and creativity into the game mechanics for this month's DLC. Fishing line, grape knife, sorry. Oof. Look at that, he just laid a fish. <laughs> so then what we do apparently is take the fish and then toss it into this bucket full of blood. More fish! <laughs> and then the whole building starts to collapse. Now I need to find myself one more fish and two grape vines. There is a piggy dude right here, though he does seem to be in the middle of a pretty publicly... Uh... <gasps> oh. Excuse me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> really? Actually, you know what? I reckon we can get this guy inside. Hey, pig guy. Then to close the door and, uh, sorry, mate. It's part of the DLC. Hey, oh, out? come on. Did I seriously just punch him in the butthole instead of use the fishing line? All right, let's try this again, shall we? Ha ha ha, got you. Now to very stealthily drag this piggy up the steps and into the box he goes. And you know what I just realized? I haven't even talked about the new suit yet. So this right here is the all new piggy's gourmand suit. And, um... I don't love it. Actually, <laughs> it's one of the worst in my opinion. It's like a it's like a reskin of that magician vampire thing from Paris, except without the awesome hat and the creepy sunglasses. Oh well. And now that we've done that, we get to pick up two packets of Bubble Queen Bubble what, what in the world is this? Bubble Queen Bubble Gum. Why go for only one taste of bubble gum when you can have four in one? Banana, grape, fish, and meat all rolled into one delicious, decadent, gourmet flavored chewing gum that will knock you right out. All right, it's, it's sedative chewing gum. <laughs> I feel like the developers of this DLC might have been munching that when they made this awesome piece of mag magic. <laughs> Gaming magic. Anyway, having a look at the intel, it seems like the blue masked piggies are the ones that are inside of the laboratory in that building over there. So I'm going to head through this building right here, run all the way up the steps, and then realize that I don't remember the security code to get into this door. So I'll run up even more steps, go through this door right here, and... Oh, all right, well, it worked out. It's all good. I think what I need to do is just give this guy a little bit of bubble queen bubble gum. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now you're talking my language. Eat it, bro. Eat it. Sus chewing gum that fell out of the sky on a rainy night in the top of a building. Why not? Uh-oh. He's twitching. <laughs> hey, look at that. A grapevine popped out of his bum. But we still, however, require two more grapevines, of which there is one right here. Don't shoot. Gotta stay nice and quiet. And now I'm very stealthily going to sneak past this security camera. Find myself one more blue piggy, which is probably going to require the use of a kitchen knife because on my map, I see two dudes right here. One there and one there. Actually, you know what? I, I don't think that's necessary at all. Here, have some bubble queen bubble gum. <laughs> These guys aren't very clever, are they? Oh, come on. <laughs> it's getting a bit much. All right, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, that's that's yours. No, 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 no. Shush, shush, shush. Oh, dear. Uh, where's the grapes? Where's the grapes? We got, we got some... Oh, wait, hold on. Grapes are here, aren't they? Give me the grapes. Now, the game said I only needed two grapes, but at this point, I think I've actually got five. So the piggy should be... Hold on. Is someone watching me through the... How dare you? As I was saying, I've actually got five grapes now, so I don't know what's going to happen when I feed Piggy two and a half times more than what he asked for. Probably just going to rip a massive fart, which it seems to be about all he's good for. Big, fat, gassy pig thing. So that's one. That's two. That's three. That's... Why is the camera keep jumping? That's annoying. <laughs> that's five. That's six grapes in total. Um, It looks like they're just kind of sitting in the bottom of the pot. Are you too good for my grapes, huh? You know how much hard work that took? 
that look of your face. And that completes stage one of this escalation. But before we go, let's take a moment to appreciate 47's shiny wet head. It's uh, it's very it's very shiny. It's very wet. The suit appears to be waterproof though, so that's that's pretty good. Probably <laughs> probably because it's made out of cheap plastic. Oh, I hope you brought some hand sanitizer, 47. Now this time around, it looks like we're doing exactly the same thing, except instead of getting grape vines, we've got to get meaty bones and fish again. <sighs> All right, meat cleaver and uh, fishing line and chewing gum. All right, let's get to work, shall we? All right, so, so the extent of the gameplay mechanics changing every round is they just add a couple more civilians that can botch up your attempt, but that's about it. Looking good, sir. How dare you give me a compliment? Now, because I am a firm believer in playing this game properly and not hurting anybody that doesn't need to be hurt, I'm going to choke this guy out real quick and then just got to be real fast and UFC oh, everyone right in the face before they get the chance to... <laughs> <laughs> run off. Fortunately, this guy was in the middle of a nap. And uh, look at that. It was all taken care of. Nobody knows. It's all good. Got myself a fish. And then when I head into this room right here, we've got two more gentlemen, but they seem to be very busy on their telephones, probably playing Raid Shadow <laughs> Legends. Anyway, I'm pretty confident that I can take care of this guy quick enough to drop him on the floor and then go whack everyone in the mouth. Oh, oh that's a security guard. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. You guys take it undercover to a whole other level. And there's my other fish, which is... Oh, I need three fish. This, that's annoying. I feel like by the time I get to the third escalation, it's going to be like, get a hundred fish and a hundred bones and a hundred grapes and... Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, look, look. There's a piggy over there. And I'm pretty sure that if I slip back into the Chinese restaurant and out the back door, I should be able to very stealthily pacify this chef right here. Actually, I'm gonna throw a fish right there. And when he gets close enough, UFC! All right, Mr. Piggy, it's fishing time. So now I got my three fishes and it's time to go get some meat. Actually, hold on. Meaty bones. All right, meaty bones are the security guards inside of the ICA for sale. Oh, well, it's very convenient that I'm right. Oh, I shouldn't have choked the lady out before I found out the code to the door. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, hold on. I don't need no stinking code. I got a security camera, Sean Connery. Going to jump through the air vents and then scale my way down the elevator shaft. Look at this. <laughs> what an absolute maniac. And now to hoist myself up into the storeroom, grab this tier one access dongle, which I totally don't need. And what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> wow, they put in so much work stuffing the storeroom with cheese and noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the photocopier and then Mr. Piggy's going to come in to turn it off. I'm going to crack out the old meat cleaver and uh, thank you very much. Meaty bones, my favorite. Now I need to procure two more meaty bones. One being right there and one being right there. Maybe if I head down here and then make a little bit of noise, you know, to get that piggy over here in this direction. This is really risky because this guy might see through the window, but YOLO. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> that was lucky. Now to head out this door, be very, very quiet, very, very stealthy, and oh dear. All right, then with that in mind, the photocopier goes on, and this guy comes in here. <laughs> we give him some good news, and I turn on the photocopier again, and this guy's deaf. Which is fine, all I need to do is throw my newspaper right here, hide behind the desk, and free chiropractic alignment for you. Gotta hop through this window, and uh, here you go, bubble queen. Go on, eat it. It's four different flavors in one. It's grapes and fish and meat and um, bananas. <laughs> his gun fell off his back. That's ridiculous. All right, everybody, chill, chill. Lady, lady. Sorry, mate. There's no, there's no security guards in here. They're, they're all having a rest. Don't worry, they're fine. Oof, that could have got a bit messy. And now to head back to the piggy, give him his nom noms, and call it a day. Why are you giving me a silver ball? I don't, I don't need it. I don't need access dongle. I already made my way. I don't need any of this. What? I don't need any of this crap. Well, I guess I'm heading back into the ICA to get myself another meaty bone. Ah, crap. Not again. <laughs> Not again. You often find meat cleavers under the staircase, do you? Ugh, finally. There is no such thing as too much. <laughs> there is such a thing as too little. Too little effort in the case of this DLC. And now we get to do exactly the same thing again, but with grapes and bananas. Which means that I'm going to need to be heading back into the ICA facility to get the bananas with the machete on my back which I'm not allowed to be carrying. Was today's cold? Come on, hurry up and remember it. Or don't. That's fine, though. I guess I'm going back in through the elevator shaft. Now, seeing as I'm not meant to be here anyway, there really shouldn't be any harm in me ripping out my machete and walking around with it. I mean, people are going to be upset either way, so... Hey, what's going on? Who's on? Banana obtained. Piggy seems to want more. Do you want to help him? <laughs> Honestly, no, not really, but I will. Oh, this should be easy. Here we go. Two piggies. That's one banana. And another banana. Oh, wait, hold on. I need a total of four bananas. All right, well, that's easy enough. Number four. UFC! UFC! 
And now it's time once again to depart the ICA, feed a piggy for bananas, and uh, collect the ICA silver baller and the remote explosive rubber duck MK2. I feel like the game is just giving me random, <laughs> random items that I have absolutely no need for whatsoever. There's there's no methodology to any of this. It's just like, hey, here's a random item. Use it. So now we go to get ourselves a couple of grapes. Thank you for the first one. Hey, listen, Batman, settle down. There we go. There's our other one. And uh, unless the game's going to pull the old switcheroo on me and tell me that I need two more, I think I've got all I need. All right, there's one. And, and that's the end of it. That is... I. Uh, Oh, you're giving me this at the end of... All right, cool. Yeah, totally use it. That's the end of the mission. May as well go out with a bang. Oh, this is obviously... Oh, it's not very good. Goodness, that... All right, well, the new gun is crap, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna use me silver baller to shoot that guy in his silver balls. And I'm gonna run out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pretty cool looking shotgun, though. I mean, I can't aim for crap, but uh, pretty nice. Shiny, like my head. See you later, China. It's been real. Real freaking... Yeah, this has been a pretty crap DLC.